Yeah, thank you for uh, your coming. Yeah, in rainy and cold day, I bring from Nova Scotia. Maybe I, uh, I don't know, <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, um, anyway, I want to introduce uh, myself. So my name is Dmitry, and I born in uh, Ukraine in Kiev. And uh, I go my childhood and my memories from from Ukraine. And uh, our family left Ukraine when Ukraine was a Soviet Union, yeah, right? Uh, USSR. So I born in USSR, and uh, yeah, I just went only only once in Ukraine in 1995 when Ukraine was a dependent country. So and then we move uh, from Ukraine from just from USSR to, to Israel, and then this is the second part of my life, and then we decide to move to Canada. So this is the third part of my life. And then uh, I, wanna, I wanna start my presentation about uh, my uh, imagination, like uh, where I, I get my ideas or uh, how I work. Like I wanna talk on the process. Uh, it's always interesting. Uh, because uh, the spectator watch just only final product, right? It's just, uh, it just only paintings. There's a couple images uh, on, a, on a flat surface. Uh, but uh, behind the flat surface of the painting is, a, is my personal story. And uh, I, I hide them behind my paintings, like, and they watch. What, what people say about my works is, is always interesting. So, as I told, it's, it's, a, it's a three different lives. So, um, my childhood was, the Kiev is an old, old city, right? This is, the, this is the old city. And I grew up in the modern projects from 1960. Like this, this kind of buildings, this pro, this project uh, is a Soviet, is a, is a traditional Soviet project of the buildings in the whole USSR, including in social countries like uh, in Poland and in West uh, Germany and other countries. So um, I studied in the old city. And my teammates, uh, sorry, my classmates was, was from, uh, almost all of them, from, from the old city. And for me, uh, to get to my school in the morning, it took like a one hour and a half. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's unusual school, it's art school. Yeah, so the regular high school, in my backyard, like something like behind my buildings. It's two minutes walk. But the uh, art school is just only one in whole Ukraine. Yeah, the high level art school. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a unique project, uh, this kind of art school. Um, is the first art school in USSR. Yeah, they came before World War II. And then uh, in USSR, they, after the war, World II, they get another uh, five art school in Holy, one in Moscow, one in the Baltic countries, one in Belarus or something like that. So I studied in the first one. Yeah, great school. Uh, from age 11 till 17 or 18. And then all my way to the school was like um, the subway and uh, tramway and, and the other stuff. So like it's, it took a lot of time. And then when I came back from the school, just I need to visit all my classmates and then where I spend a lot of time, this part. So my connection 
with this bird. But uh, my grandpa wasn't this bird. But there was a, a very little kid, and, and, and they used my tricycle in, 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 in apartments. Like uh, another one I want to I wanna share. Oh, sorry, sorry. And this, this, uh, this, this, uh, uh, this object, where my ideas come from. So I want to I want to tell the story about moving, like kind of like immigration, right? For me, it's a personal story. So when we move from Ukraine, so we bring with us some some stuff. Mm. Not the furniture, not the sea container, like a huge one, 40 feet, something like big one. No, just a small wooden box. Include your personal stuff, what, what you want to take with you. The stuff, what you think about, so something closer to you, like a, uh, some books, uh, some photograph albums, uh, some memories, something small. Because each family have just only one or two containers. It's a small wooden containers. But what is important thing that on those containers, because we get them in Israel and when we move from Ukraine and the uh, on each of them was just serial number. Somebody put the serial number. It's not a, 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 a printed number like this. Somebody took paint and brush and put the numbers by the hand. Different numbers. It looked like a mystery. What did it mean that numbers? No names, no, no, no last name, no first name. No others, nothing, just numbers. And I saw a lot of wooden box with the numbers when I was 17 years old, when we moved to Israel. So a lot of boxes with the numbers. Truck, print all the time, those boxes. Uh, because in the period from 1990 to 1991, uh, because of uh, uh, Gorbachev opened the doors and Jewish community moved from USSR, from Soviet Union. It's massive. One million people. Just one year. And then we get a lot, a lot of those boxes. And then what well, the interesting thing when you open the box, you just took the history, the memories. My memories from the box. So any small stuff, what you have, just like uh, the old pictures, old toys maybe, and they watch the other people. And my, my imagination for other boxes, not, it just, it's not 100% it's not personal. All of my wars, all of my stories, it's not 100% personal. It's not autobiography uh, uh, movie. No, no, no. No, you, you never see like uh, stuff with, uh, with uh, uh, last name or something personal or portraits of my family or things belong just only to my family, to me. No, it's, it's, I share with everyone and I mix all those memories from every people I met before. My friends, neighbors. When we arrived, we lived just in, the, in, in immigration camp. Immigration camp. This is the, the third part of my life. The different works, <laughs> not, not those. So, um, yeah, this was my explanation on, on this one. And uh, uh, so this is a little bit, a little bit on a communal apartment, what, what that means. 
where my grandpa live and my uh, uh, classmates live. This is the interesting thing. The stranger people live together. They share one, one bath, one, one uh, kitchen, one uh, toilet. Just uh, is unbelievable. When you wake up in the morning and you stay on the line to the washroom, just lie. Five, seven, ten families live in the same place. Only, <laughs> just only one, yeah, one, one bottle. Uh, and they knock on the door. <laughs> Come on. Uh, those, those parts uh, belongs to the old city, right? And those parts of, uh, of uh, pictures belong to the modern one, the projects of, of, of 1960. So uh, to get in, the man <laughs> enters like, uh, to the apartment, you need to push the button just uh, here is just the last names and uh, how many times you need to push the button. So if you push the once, it's just for those. If you put it twice, for the other, if you, if you by mistake push on my right <laughs> room twice, <laughs> I don't open your door, so never. Uh, this is, uh, the people share here the kitchen with uh, all and leave each family in each room. So it's interesting, and then you, they share the kitchen, but they, uh, they get uh, your personal oven, right? And you never use uh, the oven, your neighbor's stuff, kitchen stuff. No way. And uh, the people argue with each other. It's always a funny story. Yeah, they hate each other. <laughs> yeah. Uh, about uh, those life, I, I like um, uh, the e artist Ilya Kabakov. Maybe you know. Yeah, yeah, he, he, very famous artist, live in New York. And um, uh, his work about. Uh, life in the uh, in USSR, Soviet life. How was, how was uh, the civilians, like you person, was like, like something like this, right? It's uh, insects, like you, you, you sounds like and then your government smash you and that's it. So this, is, this was Ilya's uh, explanation. And uh, yeah, very, <clears throat> very beautiful um, installation for Ilya. So, but I, I, uh, my work is, is about something different. Yeah, so uh, about the memories. Uh, it's not something in, like a nostalgia or something like that, but it's a little bit different. Uh, and uh, this is this is this, this is uh, traditional Soviet apartments, right? This is the main interest in the Poland walls and and uh, everywhere, like uh, uh, even uh, West Germany. It doesn't matter, yeah. But it's look the same. It's the same buildings, uh, the same furniture, produced by uh, Soviet Union. Maybe West Germany. It's, it's, Everything the same, and people the same. They were the same in the past. Yeah, it was in the past. They were the same closet. Like the color colors was, was pretty the same. Kind of uh, gray, black, brown. Yeah, they never smile, and they were black, brown. <laughs> it's it's look horrible. Yeah. Czech Republic, yeah, it, I, I was in the Czech Republic in 2006, yes, and was German, and I was so surprised. Nothing changed, nothing changed. It's a time machine, 
So, yeah, people wear clothing from 70s. And they live in the same buildings and they use the same furniture. And I wake in the morning and we go outside. It's unbelievable. I just, it's incredible. I back years and years ago in my childhood. Yeah, it's just, it's look like fantastic movie. Yeah. It's real, it's real. I ask all the time, it's real, it's unbelievable. Because everything changed, even in Ukraine. They jump fantastic forward, like in Russia as well, but uh, Ukraine, they, they, they more Europe country and they, they, they catch uh, things faster. But uh, when I went to Czech, oh my God, no way. Or West German, the half of Berlin, or Dresden. That's unbelievable. I saw the, the rotary phone in 2006. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, I saw the rotary phone in Nova Scotia. <laughs> this summer, Cape Breton. So Cape Breton is a beautiful place. No, no connection, no internet, no nothing. Just, yeah, yeah we found some store on the road and they, and the cashers, <laughs> pretty old woman stayed the cashier and, and the rotary for, phone on the wall. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised. <laughs> okay, so uh, another one. And um, this is my painting was on, the, on, the, on this wall yesterday, but this is uh, um, like a um, a main interest. So um, the apartment doesn't have the main room and, 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 and bedrooms. So in Canada, you count just only bedrooms, right? Four, three bedrooms, five bedrooms. Uh, in Soviet Union, you live in, in just two rooms. It's not bedrooms. It doesn't matter. Uh, it, it, because the people sleep in, in the main uh, room. So it's count like uh, bedrooms. Uh, uh, this I found on the internet, but uh, from museum. It's not the real. Yeah. They try uh, to make uh, the same uh, situation like uh, uh, like it was before, right? How people live when you, when you go to the, to the house, main entrance, so you put your clothes, you, you some, some bag, some, some stuff around, so some mess. But this is look pretty nice. It's not real, it's not pretty nice. Uh, the real thing is, it looks something like this. It's always, Mass always, uh, this, this, this is the real story, this is unreal story. That's why uh, those pictures from, from, from museum, this is this called like um, the Soviet Museum. Yeah, a lot of people feel, I mean, the old, old generation, they feel some, some nostalgia yeah, for, 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 for USSR, I can, but they, they, yeah, they always remember just only good things, right? So for, for feel the nostalgia, you can go to the museum to see <laughs> all those objects. Uh, okay, another one. So those are, uh, Two pictures, like, it's not a, a good resolution, but the uh, quality, but uh, I tried to explain. Those two families, this family is from US. Like uh, 1960, 65. This 
from 70s, early 70s. Both look pretty the same, except one, just only one small thing on the T view. Yeah, just, this is the portrait of the Lenin. Lenin, yeah, Vladimir Lenin, here. Yes, if I took this part, it's, right, it's look pretty the same. So, how those pictures, uh, oh, and uh, it's a different countries, right? But somehow, uh, uh, the, paint, the painting on the wall, yeah, half uh, color, half paint in, in, in Soviet Union uh, and the US or Canada, doesn't matter, it's pretty the same. So the, the people, in, what, I, what I want to say, I want, want to say on those pictures, the people pretty equal. They're pretty equal. The memories are pretty, pretty the same and pretty equal, right? Uh, the pictures, they pretty, pretty the, those like a, a, a movie uh, picture, right? It's pretty, pretty the same, except one more small thing. The memories are pretty the same. The objects, the objects talk, always. If I take this one. It's look the same, right? Okay, the next one. So there's a small, st this is the interest for, this is the picture from museum, right? <laughs> this is apartment <laughs> from museum. And uh, those stuff here, yeah, so it's, it's uh, I, I tried to, or here, type right rotary phone, I, I try to, to, to use uh, stuff like this from the past in my, my world to create, uh, to create some, some, some equal feelings, yeah? It's not to be like pretty good, pretty nice, no, no. It's something like this, yeah, something like this. And um, this picture from US and this from Russia, right? The, the, first, the first, uh, first thing when, uh, you, meet, when, you, when you came to, 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 to the house, yeah, main, main entrance, you open the door to apartment, but the first Think what you mean, just you hang your coats, you put your umbrella in, in the hat. And uh, another thing for me, it's always in my work, it's always uh, like a lot of objects, a lot of stuff, right? But no person, no person. So, the place of the purpose is always empty. Chair is empty. The spaces, the rooms is empty. Even no shadow of the person. Nothing. Because the memory is for, 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 I don't know, for nobody, not for me. Yeah, I, I share <coughs> with, with, uh, with uh, everyone. So, you never see the person. You can see the clothes of this kind of person, yeah, the personal stuff, but no, nobody. Because if, if, if somebody from Czech Republic watch my work, or from West Germany, or from Ukraine, it doesn't matter from where, he find in the, same, the same memories, the same objects. If I put something personal, my personal image, like uh, 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 personal uh, images of my family or something like that, I sign my work 
like, okay, it's all about me. No, it's about, it's about the, the, the period of life. It's about the period of life, the other people, not, not, not just like my personal period, right? And I try to, 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 to pull it out from spectators, some, some memories, and they try to build the person, like the personal vision when, when they observe my work is, is interesting. Okay, next one. Uh, oh, this, this, uh, this is uh, uh, pretty nice stuff. And uh, I find this one from 50. This advertising. That's where, where the stories come from. I didn't know that. Because this is me here. <laughs> yes, and this is me. <laughs> yeah. So this, this, this is the per this is the person. But if you see this uh, work, like uh, with those machines and, and skates and everything, I see it here, and I'm invisible, invisible. But I'm here. Yeah. And uh, I use the same one both. So um, I remember there was a dream for, for each child to have this one at home. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, unbelievable. And, but you can rent at the park for a couple, uh, couple cents for, for a short time, and the, uh, your memories from that period, short time for, for 20 minutes or half hour. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> you never forget about those moments. You're waiting and you're waiting to go to, to, to the park and, and uh, your dad need to rent the, the, those uh, toys. How it look like? It's look, this is the real picture. I, that's me. This is the real life. Not a museum. This is the real life. I find, I don't know, suddenly <laughs> in my album a couple of pictures and I decide to put my personal insight just uh, for those, those things. This is, this is the real. This is the real life. It's always broken. <laughs> yeah. Always building walls. Always rust. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, okay, here's the next one. There's uh, uh, another thing. It's very uh, important for me. This, uh, we, we, I talk about the numbers, right? And uh, the other thing, the notes. Notes on the wall or notes on the, on the Wallpaper. Uh, I use the notes. It's like uh, it's, it's, all those things is metaphor. It's not real. It's metaphor. So this is the messenger from past. Messenger. People leave notes, and uh, they leave messages. So uh, on my work, all of those messages is unreadable text because uh, the, the text is, is, is not, not important. The image is important. You can put whatever you want inside if you want your personal text. It doesn't matter for me because it's, it's, it's unreadable. It's some, some text. So when in Soviet Union, <clears throat> when it doesn't matter, it, it, Soviet Union camp is include uh, USSR and all Soviet camp like other countries, right? Uh, when, when you have a phone, yes, and this is this is the a communal apartment. It's just only one for ten families. When somebody call you. 
You need to go to call the, 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 this person, right? And uh, if not, you leave the message on the wall. Yeah, you leave the message. This is, uh, this is from, uh, from uh, a beautiful Russian movie from 80s. I took, I took the shots from the movie. Here, both. But you put, you put some notes. I, and and I, put, I put the same, the same notes on my, on, my, on my paintings. Always unreadable, but I, I try to, to leave the message. From, for, for my, my friends, those spectators, or doesn't matter who. But uh, this, this is unbelievable. It's, uh, it's, always, it's always pencil. I use, I use uh, in the other paintings those symbol, pencil. Yeah. The other, the, the other neighbors, Maybe they, they, they should steal the pencil. And they, yeah, the pencil always was, 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 uh, was a tire. Yeah. <laughs> always. <laughs> you, can, you can steal. <laughs> no. And uh, yeah, so this, this is, uh, this is you know, and, and day after day, and months after months, and years and years, it's a beautiful, beautiful texture on the wall, thousands of messages. It's a beautiful, or notes. If you don't have any empty space to put the notes, just uh, they put uh, something like this. Uh, yeah, so the, the communal apartment was lucky if they have one, yeah. But the other, no, no, no phone. How do they live without any, any connection, any phone? I don't know. It's unbelievable today. Okay, the, the next one. Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's again uh, about, about the notes. So this I found, it was a very funny, from Italy. Uh, from uh, Verona is a, is a, is a story uh, Romeo and, and, and Julia Shakespeare is a beautiful and people leave the notes. They leave the notes. Even today, people always, always uh, believe in some superstition. That's why I, I never put some text on my notes. I let the people get the chance to put their own, uh, own text. Maybe notes about love or, or something like that, some, some wishes. I don't know. That, that's what I find in Italy. There says a messenger <laughs> notes in Ukraine. This is the notes on the fridge. Some recipe. Uh, and this is the Western Wall in Jerusalem. This is the holy place. People came from everywhere, from the whole world, to, to, to put some notes to, directly to the God. So people believe if they put the notes into this crack, those notes go directly to the God. Yeah. There's somebody from Ukraine who wished the peace in Ukraine. He came especially to put the notes on the Western Wall in Jerusalem. Yeah, here. So this, is, this image uh, of, 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 of notes, so, so interesting and important for me, I use all the time. Okay, uh, another one. This is a different works, my works. I want to talk about a different kind of, of memory. If I spoke about tricycle, I used before in my grandpa uh, 
uh, apartment. I, I was three years old, something like. And uh, I remember, but it's not exactly, right? So my memory is blurry. And then I thought, how I can tell my story in a different way? What should be different way of the story? It's a sculpture. I want, I want, like, when you come to watch my memory, you can touch them. You, you, you can't touch the paint, right? The paint, never. You, you just, it's two dimensions. I want my memory in three dimensions. You can walk around my memory, you go in my memory, so you can, you can feel them, you can touch my memory. So I, I, I built a tricycle and other objects from cardboard. This is the cardboard. Very simple material. Very simple. Those uh, um, uh, cardboard made from, from, from dust. Very cheap. Cost nothing. That's, that is the main thing when I choose those, those material. Because uh, the cardboard destroy himself. It's non acid, acid uh, a paper. It's a cheap, it's include acid, everything. So I spent a lot of time to build the, the, the object, an object with the time destroy himself. This is the concept of, of, of the work. So the, 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 this come to be, uh, this is a natural color and then is yellowing and yellowing like an old paper. It's come to brown and then destroy himself. So this is the main thing of, of the memory because yeah, yeah. When 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 you're young, you 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 remember things like it's opposite from dementia. Dementia is work different. When you're older, you 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 remember exactly what you was like if you if you was a young, but you didn't remember what happened a minute before. So when you're young, there's a different. You think about the other stuff in your brain, so you, you don't remember what's happened when you was a kid. So that's how our brain works. And then what, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this stuff. So just pass away of this memory by the materials. Materials talk, not me. I chose those materials just before, before this. So, this hand on the pin here. It's a huge one. I tried to, to, to blow up, to blow up things when I was a kid. When, 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 when you kid, all the, 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 the trees is bigger, right? The table is huge. Damn, it's huge for me. Oh. So that's why it's so massive. Yes, another one. Yeah, it's it's. <laughs> this is a, 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 a my painting so two dimension, three dimension. Yeah, you can go around. Is non non gravity. It's non gravity. It's so light. It's just only carbon, nothing inside. And uh, you, can, you can feel, you can watch, you can't use. You can't use your memory, never. You can feel, you can touch, right? Non-gravity. Uh, this is conceptual work, like a sculpture. Yeah, this is another stuff. <laughs> this is the massive thing. The huge, huge. I know whole boys 
and girls maybe, more boys, try to open stumps, uh, the toys, right? To watch what in inside. Yeah, so uh, that's what I did. I broke <laughs> a lot of toys. This interesting what in inside, how it work. The small, small, small vehicles. And uh, as the opposite, yeah, because the, uh, the stuff in the vehicle is so small, so tiny, something like this. And I grow up, and those stuff grow with me, like uh, the huge, huge objects. From, from uh, those from, from watch, you know, the, what, what the inside, it's, it's a beautiful what, what, what's going on inside. So, 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 so tiny, so small, and then, yeah, I try to, 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 to catch some, this is a, a, a charcoal drawing. Yeah, charcoal drawing I, <clears throat> from the kitchen. And I try to put uh, those, like, uh, those parts in the small, it's, it's always on my paintings. It's, it's so small on the shelf. Yeah, you, you need to close up to watch a uh, small, small thing and then you can catch them like a, a, a huge objects. Yeah, I like Pinocchio, yeah, in my painting. Yeah, this is my favorite toys. Yeah, find myself like a Pinocchio. <laughs> yeah, this is personal. This is uh, the auto portrait <laughs> of myself. Another one. Yeah. So this is uh, uh, another charcoal pencil drawing. Those drawings is huge. So big. Uh, and I try to, those are toys. And uh, some of them, there's a tricycle there and, and horse and everything, and Pinocchio, <laughs> everything, <laughs> everything here. Uh, on those uh, drawings, I, 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 I paint paper with the wall paint like uh, a drawing on the wall. All the kids drawing on the wall. I'm drawing, <laughs> I grow and <laughs> I'm, draw I'm still drawing on the wall. Okay, another one. Yeah, this, this is the variation of, of, of my, uh, oh, the painting, yeah, right. Uh, the plane and, and uh, and another one, the plane from the cardboard. This and this one. This is the, the close up, uh, on the, how it's called, propeller, right? Yeah, yeah, propeller. So, huge, huge. That was my dream to, to build some, some plane when I was a kid. But unfortunately, not. <laughs> but anyway, I I I, I did. <laughs> I did. I achieved my my <laughs> my yeah my goals to build some some plane. This is the plane. Yeah, this is the toy. You need to just this look like uh, you can get in the, into the to the box with with some parts and you need to glue it and to cut and the will so this one from so three dimension and two dimension is important okay the next one oh yeah and then uh, this this is uh, this is the area when I grow like this is the part of the of the Soviet Union from sixty and uh, everything inside everything boring it's not old city 
No story. Nothing. Everything looked the same. People looked the same. Building looked the same. You go to the apartment, inside looked the same. The same elevators, the same paint on the wall, the same. It's so boring. But except one thing, the bolts. They're always fun. When you go with your dad, it's always fun. You can rent for an hour. You, 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 you always wait for the, those moments to go fishing. Always. And uh, you can rent, right? Uh, and, uh, and I thought, OK, it's so important for me. And I try to think about those bolts all the time. The ideas came, came in the brain. It looked like a spra sparkling water. Yes. It's a, it's a start from the, the bubbles. Yeah? And the bubbles come in and come in and come in, and then explosion in the end of the process. Yeah, when you shake your, your, your glass. This, this is the process of ideas in, in the brain, how, this is how, it, how it works. So I, I tried to find the image, and then I, 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 I didn't do nothing. So I, I just waiting. I waiting with my sketchbook, but I waiting. I work on my sketchbook, and I'm waiting. And then suddenly, explosion. Maybe I have some connection, I don't know. Maybe I'm immersion. No idea. Uh, OK, so this, this, this is the this, this huge symbols of USSR. Yeah. It's from 70s. And I rebuilt this boat, the size one on one. It's, I rebuilt like a boat builder. Part, I glue it after part. Everything looked like a real, real boat. This is the winter on the river. This is the other side. Because uh, all of this area on uh, Iceland, like round, and, and, and a river come around. This is the artificial channel. Uh, this is the view from balcony, winter time. People, those dots here is not a good resolution, but here is the uh, people who are fishing on the ice. Uh, and uh, this is the frozen, frozen trees. Uh, this happened when, when we moved to Israel. And in Israel, I live in the desert, uh, plus 50 degrees. This is the right place for the winter memories, <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah, frozen river from, and view from your balcony. But uh, the texture on the, those trees, it look like uh, uh, how it's called, the weeds rolling in the desert. Yeah. It's exactly the same shape. And I, I try to put a tree they, three memories together, like three, three different dimensions. This is, this, this is the old slide, right? It's a cold slide. When you use projector, the old one from the 70s, I found this one, and, the, and the, this is the real slide. And the, on the excavation, the, 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 project, the old projector with, with one slide works all the time from opening to the end of the day, whole exhibition, and the lamp inside so hot. 
and the lamp burned this image. Yeah. So you, 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 you come back every day to see the work, every morning, it looks different. So for, for three weeks, four weeks, you can see nothing. The image just burn, die. Yeah. So this is experiment uh, with, with this image. It's interesting because there's only one I have. I get a present, this image from somebody who took from the balcony and this, uh, this one from uh, 70s and doesn't exist anymore. This is, this, this is, uh, this is like um, the memory works. So this one I talk about, the cardboard, the short life, the period of short life. This is my choice to burn this image. And this object, so beautiful for me because when you watch those weeds running in, in, in the desert, I, for me, it was incredible view. Incredible. It was so interesting. And then this one have a, a, a very small root, something like 15 centimeter, massive. And then when, when, when uh, the winter coming in Israel and, and the wind blowing up all of these weeds. And the, those weeds start running, running, running. And then they, they spread the seeds. And this is the way, this is the short time. So I thought, okay, test, test plans. Talk to me. Talk to me. Why, why this plants talk to me? Because we're in the same situation. I don't have any roots. My roots are so short. Like, like something like that. I don't have roots. I don't know who I am. Born in a country that doesn't exist anymore. Move to the desert. Live for a short period. Not short period, like 20 years, but as a part of my life. Now I'm in Canada new experience, new feelings. But another interesting part of this plan, I, 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 I started interesting, like read the books, where it's come from. And this uh, plan came in World War I, uh, the British, a move forces in the Middle East from uh, uh, Damascus, from Syria to Egypt, through the Palestine, on the trains, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, all the time. And they, they use, uh, they bring, <laughs> they bring, uh, they, they bring the, um, from the other places, those plants, and they use those plants in the train to put between uh, boxes with the weapons before, you know, some explosions come and something like that. And uh, those plants spread the seeds everywhere. Yeah, but uh, north of, 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 of uh, Israel is, is, is not a good climb for those, but the desert is perfect. So those those plan is immigrant like me. Came to the Palestine in 1915. So uh, he came from borders of Afghanistan, Pakistan, and uh, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and the other country I forgot. So this, this uh, where it's, it's come from. So no roots, look like an immigrant. Exactly like me. Blow with the wind. 
and rolling and rolling. And I, 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 I like him. Because very, very, everyone watch on, on, on the mess on the road all the time. And uh, just people stop the car to watch me ca running after the, the, the bushes and try to catch them and put in my car for exhibition, like so. <laughs> what the crazy guy doing. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, and they, and, they, and, they put them, and they put them together. Three different parts, like three visions, three objects, to create one, one story. Yeah, and I, and I try to, to make the, the, the frozen uh, surface on the floor. So this bushes with the bolt stuck on, on the, into the ice. So crazy situation, but uh, uh, as usual, for understand those works, you need to read some text or something like that. Uh, but uh, I don't know, people watch and then they, 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 they pretty understand what they want to talk about. So uh, this is, this is, this is uh, should be a, a real object. So you can connect between some of, of, of the objects that create the story. Yeah, if I have another one, yes, it's a, yeah, this is this is the another one. This is the better quality uh, to see how how I built from cardboard uh, those objects. Yes, so therapy. Uh, I told about the therapy. Art is a therapy. Yeah, and I completely agree with uh, with Freud about. Uh, the childhood trauma and the art therapy. Yeah, it's, it's art therapy. It's therapy for me. And then the, my, 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 my product is a therapy, therapy for others. So this, this, this is the boat. This is the, this is the name, right? Yeah. yeah. So, and this, yeah, this is, uh, this is the image with uh, people who fish on the ice. I spend a lot of time here uh, with my dad. And this is the picture from 1915 till 17. And this is the map of, uh, of the city where I live from 1950. Yeah, it's interesting, that one. So, it's, uh, it's a lot. Whole, whole those works is, is, is uh, my personal life map. I try to navigate m through the map, navigate myself, and then beside me, my works. Yeah, what, what, what I felt like before. Okay, another one. Oh, this is, uh, this is the other work. It should be the last part of my presentation and uh, uh, this is the third part of my life in Israel. And I spoke in the immigrant camp when we arrived with me and other million people. And we live in camp, like um, houses like, like those, family for uh, four people, live in the half. So if you, if you came alone, or if you two people, three people, till four, you just share, this is the half. Two intern, two doors. If your family more than four, you get whole one. And uh, so the camp count 
2,500 houses, almost 10,000 people with wooden boxes. <laughs> yeah, from different countries. Yeah, from uh, Ethiopia, like, uh, and the uh, whole uh, USSR. So different, different Soviet Republic. Now it's different countries. So different people, different cult cultures. So it's, it's a, an incredible mix. A small town, 10,000 people, eight, 10. And uh, include everything. Mm, suicide in, I watch. Yeah, everything. Poor people, rich people, with huge stories, everything, everything. And uh, it's so small, so small, so when you come inside, uh, it's just one, one small room, include bathroom, kitchen, and dining room, living room, everything. Small one. I rebuilt this, uh, this house. You can get another one. There's how, 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 how I find those uh, houses uh, after 20 years. So we get them from Canada and US. Israel get them from Canada and US. Support. Yes. And uh, you need, so expi they have expiry day, those houses, yes. How I know? I, 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 I met uh, a bus with, uh, with tourists from US, they stop on the road, they ask me if I get in to watch how, how, how it looks like inside because we donate money. You're very welcome. Where is conditioner? <laughs> it's plus 50. No conditioner. To get in, you need, you need the first thing. If you leave your house morning and you back to the evening, you need to open the door when you, when you come back and the night time, the first thing, what you need to do, they open the door and wait in 20 minutes because it looks like a microwave inside. Yeah, it's a microwave. You can, you, <laughs> you can <laughs> go in. Yeah, so uh, it's fine. And they, they told me that they, they, the houses have expiry. And people live for, for, for years. Years is unbelievable. Expiry like those houses for two, three years. Those is expiry. Yeah, it's, it's something very, very simple to live for the first time, first short time. Like at, at it's, it's, it should be a modern tent. Yeah. So and I find those houses after twenty more than twenty years. Some people still use. Those houses is unbelievable, but it's a look like uh, a look like this. Um, okay, uh, another one, and this is the size of those houses. This is, this is small, and this is the other other view on the memory. You feel so big. Like a holy bear, right? From, you know, the, the story. And you can watch inside. From my life, inside. Through the windows. And, the, and, and inside, inside I, I, I rebelled everything, one on one. You need to watch under the microscope. 
because the TV remote is real. It's on the table. Which button? You can press the button. Yes. It's so important for me to be realistic. What I want to say, I want to say for, for, like uh, very realistic sentences. It doesn't matter what, what, the, what the media I use. Like if it's a, if it's a sculpture or a painting or something, I want to say my words so clear. If you watch my paintings of, if you watch the remote control, it, they, they, they look the same. They need to be the same. This is the same story. So, and uh, this, is, this is the old, old TV. So, people told me I needed uh, a, a therapy, like uh, some doctor, because, uh, <laughs> yeah, b b because if, if, if I try to, to, to make something, it, it, it's, it's too perfect. This is my huge problem. If it's not enough, I, I can sleep. It should be perfect. Yeah, it should be screen, glass on, 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 on the old TV. If it's not, it's not real. My story is not real. But this should be real. Uh, and uh, this, you can go back, back, back on, on yeah. So you, if, if, if you watch inside, you can see all of the small parts, including light. Everything works perfect. It's a different feelings. Different when you watch what's happening inside. Okay, and uh, this is the one object. One object works alone, understand. And uh, this, this is the different uh, works will include the video. And uh, I will build whole camp. Yeah, yeah. A hundreds of, of uh, uh, houses. They stand in, 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 in the same position, like the road, like a cross, like this, and, uh, and the video when they remove all this, those houses after five years. And the, the trucks come and pick those houses. And I, 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 I took the video from whole camp and the video running on the loop, on the loop. And the projector, projector like this showed the video and the video touched the roofs and sound of wind, of empty place. And if you, if you want to watch this work, you can need to go just a, a kind of, of gallery with uh, upstairs. And then you need to go like something like this. And then you meet just door with small hole. You put your head inside and then you meet huge space and you stay one on one with those work. It's work one on one. When you one on one without anybody around you, you feel different. You feel different. It, this go directly to your brain, heart, every place. You can meet different world. And the video here with the sound of the wind and 
and the people <clears throat> who still live from 2,000 houses, just only few families. No, no, nowhere to go, so nothing to do. And they, they cook with, with a barbecue. It's unbelievable. And beside, a uh, TV screen. On, on, oh, here. And flashback. The TV works like a flashback memories. For short time, for 10 seconds. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, all the time, 10 seconds. Uh, from uh, my personal life. It's me here. This is the personal work. Me with my friends, we sit together, and the, the beers and everything, and life is beautiful. Life is beautiful. We poor, no money, no future, no nothing, no in the middle of the desert, 17, 8, 19, 18 years old, guys and girls, nothing to do, no, no job, no work, no, no, no nothing. Beautiful life. Beautiful. It's a small window on my, my personal life, a beautiful personal life. And around me, the south on the, on the wind, and the huge camp, the horrible stories, disaster. But for, for, for us, it's a beautiful, because of age. But uh, is, is a personal videos because we, we, we had before a friend, a little bit crazy uh, with, with, a, with a camera, with cassette, the old one. And our friend record us all the time. All the time. All our parties. And we stopped seeing, like, nobody, empty space. And uh, I, I, I get those, uh, v it, it was a VHS, like the huge one, I said, I, and, I, and I get them years after. And they watch what, what we did, and we were so happy. It's unbelievable. So this is a, this is a, a third part of my life. This is a different, different moments and different memories, different stories. And concept, concept is different. And uh, I, I, so, uh, this is my indication, right? I graduate grade school, uh, but I try uh, different uh, media, like a video or different materials. To say to say to say the the the, the, the same the same uh, the same things, but in a different ways. I, I think I, I, I got <laughs> my, my, my goals was, was a different, uh, different medias. So uh, I guess that this is, this is the end of the, right, this is the end of the story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but so, what? No, no, my story not over. <laughs> I need to wait a uh, more couple years. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So it's always I don't know what what uh, what I should do in the future. No idea, because things happen. So like it's always fun for me paintings and sculptures and everything. Yeah, to sit in my basement with sketchbook and yeah. How long did you live in those houses? How how? How long did you live in those houses? Those houses were since uh, 1991, and uh, 19, I, I live like a year and a half. Yeah. So there were like refugee camps, and then people moved on to other. Yeah, you need to move. You do, you don't have any choice. 
those houses have expiry and uh, you, you need to move and you need to find some, some place uh, to live. But it's, uh, it was not simple. That's what happened today in, in Halifax. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to find a free apartment. So many people came. The price is coming up. Yeah. Oh, this? I, I feel very much the absence of women in your family in this story. Yeah, so. Maybe you want to share it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is a part of my life. Uh, how I can explain this? Yeah. My mom worked. I lost my mom when I was 13 years old uh, because of a Chernobyl disaster. Yes, Chernobyl. What's happened in 1986, in April? April 26, I guess. Yeah, in April. So uh, my mom uh, uh, works at uh, barber shop, and the barber shop was in a kind of a hotel close to the cave. And uh, after explosion, the government decided to took all the civilians around the Chernobyl, the radius like a 30 kilometer around the nuclear reactor uh, for 24 hours, it took thousands of people out. Yeah. So, it's thousands of people. You need to find some place to put those people. It was like some camps, hotels. So when they put the, the people in, in, in the hotel where, where my mom works, the first thing would they need to do that they need to talk the clothes because the clothes are dirty with, with the radiation. So clothes up and then uh, the most radiation on your body and on the food because the radiation landing on the floor when you walk. You just, you just grab all this radiation on your food. Yeah, and head. Because the hair is unwashable. The radiation stuck on your head. Unwashable. So even unwashable, just need to take the machine and remove all your hair. Include women's, men's, kids, everyone. Everyone bald. And then you go to the wash with some, I don't know what they use, but to remove the radiation. So my mom get a uh, hundred of people did hundreds of people. And, and she got cancer for a short time, over radiation. And that time, uh, people came to the hospitals. So, besides my mom, who got radiation, like uh, uh, doctors, surgeons, nurses, firemen, a lot of people. But uh, by the uh, Wikipedia statistic, 31 people died. This is the, the firemen who came first. 31. But the thousands didn't count. They didn't count. So that, that's what, that was, and I, and I stay alone because my brother was in the military service for two years in that time. And my dad spent uh, a year with my mom in the hospital, 24 seven. That's what happened. So that's, uh, yeah. And this, uh, I, I, I'm not alone in, on, on 
the stories of hundreds of thousands like me, but uh, nobody talk about what happened. Yeah. So this is different, a different story about the radiation and the Soviet government uh, keeping a secret what's happened. And the radiation spread on the whole world. Yeah. And uh, this, uh, yeah, I, I, and nobody didn't know about the radiation. Nothing. Nothing. Because you can smell, you can see, as, as, you can feel. So, yeah, it, it, I know what is a nuclear. But, you know, what's happened today was, was, was the war in Ukraine. And, and all speaking about the nuclear. I can show you. This is the button. I push the button. And uh, this is dangerous. This is dangerous. You can do nothing. Yeah. If, it can, if it's a regular war, you can, you can run, you can hang, you can, you know, you can try to find uh, again, against, right? Uh, but uh, against uh, radiation, you can do nothing. Just nothing. Yeah. This is, uh, this is personal. <laughs> this is personal, yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe what all of my art, maybe this is dose therapy about that moment. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe about, maybe, Maybe that's why. Maybe that. I uh, uh, always try to find the answer. Why I need to hold these things? Dimitri, thank you very, very much for sharing your talk. Yeah. That story, a lot there to process. I'm going to be thinking about this for some time to come. Uh, helped by your paintings, as I said, um, to remember the chapters of your life. But another quote, if we had more time, I would like to think about, you know, don't think of your hockey coach necessarily as Bedford cheering on your kid on the ice, having had this particular story. But of course, this is the, the refugee, the immigrant story, the migration story. Yeah. Um, thank you for sharing that. You can stick around for a little bit if other people want to talk. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Thank you so much. For your attention, thank you.